Welcome to the Iowa Flood Information System tutorial. This video will introduce the Iowa Flood Information System and its various functions. To reach IFIS, visit the Iowa Flood Center website at iowafloodcenter.org and then click the prominent Iowa Flood Information System banner. The Iowa Flood Information System, or IFIS, is a web-based tool that provides Iowans access to flood inundation maps, real-time flood conditions, flood forecasts, and interactive visualizations. IFAS alerts homeowners and businesses to prepare for floods and helps community leaders make better land use decisions to make their communities more flood resilient. Highlighted on the IFAS launch page are four of the Iowa Flood Information System's most frequented features, inundation maps, flood warnings, stream conditions, and river communities. To see conditions in your area, click the fourth icon, River Communities. This tool allows you to zoom in on your specific location or search for it in the IFIS home menu bar. For example, by typing in Cedar Rapids, you can find information for the Cedar River watershed, which is a map of the entire area upstream from your community. In the upper right of your screen, you'll find information about the watershed, including population, land area, and travel time or how long it takes water to travel from the furthest edge of the watershed to your community. Using the tools in the menu bar, you can track conditions in the selected watershed, including river and stream levels and current and previous radar rainfall totals. In the Data Resources menu, click Stream Gauges. This will bring up a collection of buttons in the selected watershed, each representing river and stream sensors placed by the Iowa Flood Center and the U.S. Geological Survey. The Iowa Flood Center has installed over 200 gauges since 2010. Click on one of them to view more information about a specific river or stream, and click More Info for detailed information. For another view of how flood water may be moving through the watershed, go to the Toolbox menu and click Multi-Sensor River View. This will bring up a list of all the sensors in your watershed. You can view more information about sensors upstream of your location to anticipate future river levels in your community. You can also track rainfall in your watershed. Use the Weather Conditions tool to observe current rainfall, daily rainfall for each day over the past two weeks, or cumulative rainfall over the same period. At the launch page, you'll also find a link to IFAS's Inundation Maps tool. This can also be found in the Flood Maps menu. The Flood Maps tool displays the available flood inundation maps the Iowa Flood Center has developed for major communities in Iowa. These maps allow you to visualize the extent of potential flooding in your community. In times of flooding, you can click Real-Time Stage Values to see current river levels and forecasted conditions based on the forecasts issued by the National Weather Service. Click River Stage to visualize flooding at various river levels. For example, in 2008, the Cedar River at Cedar Rapids crested at just over 31 feet. You can zoom in to see the effects of flooding on your neighborhood. Also highlighted at the IFAS launch page is the Flood Warnings tool. This map highlights current flood warnings throughout the state, rated from yellow for action stage to pink for major flood stage. Click on any of the flood warnings to see current stream conditions. Flood conditions in IFAS are triggered by the stream heights at USGS gauge and IFC sensor locations across the state. Warnings appear when the river level at a gauge reaches one of the four stage levels as shown in the legend. By clicking on More Info, you can learn more about the stream conditions at that location, including the conditions from the preceding days and the forecasted conditions where available. Also in this view, and all IFAS views, current radar rainfall is shown. In addition to current rainfall, you can view rainfall from the past two weeks, either by looking at daily totals or cumulative totals. 
At the launch page, you'll also find a shortcut to IFAS's Stream Conditions tool. This will lead you to a map of Iowa, overlaid with buttons representing sensors placed by the Iowa Flood Center and the U.S. Geological Survey. These sensors monitor water levels in real time. Click on one of them to view more information about a specific stream. IFAS includes a tool for sharing the useful information you found with others. In the Info Panels menu option, click Take Snapshot. IFAS will create a snapshot link, which you can copy and share with others to access the current view quickly. We hope this introductory video provides you with a basic understanding of the many features and tools available in the Iowa Flood Information System. Additional data and features can be found by exploring the menu options. For more information, visit iowafloodcenter.org.